Christopher, right now a lot of people are bracing their portfolios, holding them close to their chest or selling everything and running into all kinds of interesting options. You're saying Critical Minerals is a safe space to be. Is that correct? Absolutely. So with that, where should we go? Where do we start? Where does a new investor who's new to Critical Minerals go? Do they start with tin, rare earths, tantalum? What would you suggest? All of the above. Um, uh, we've had uh, you know, a very traumatic year uh, with the war in the Ukraine, um, rising energy costs, rising inflation, rising interest rates um, have pushed down the markets. But I, I feel a turn is here. It's already here. Um, the war has definitely not gone away, but uh, and neither has the inflation nor has the interest rates. But uh, the sheer bargain basement nature of the mining markets at the moment um, is, is proving too much of temptation for people. But very interesting, this turn in fortune seems to coincide almost exactly with the downfall of crypto. Crypto has definitely imploded upon itself. And uh, people have long feared that crypto would steal gold's um, you know, aura, steal gold shine, and it has definitely over the last two years. Um, doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be enormous rally in gold, but it definitely makes um, the speculative money that has been pursuing the, the chimera um, of uh, crypto take a very big second thought. Now, a lot of the money in crypto has been lost. It's been vaporized. So um, it's less a case of money moving out of crypto into mining. It's that new money is not going to be heading into crypto. It's going to be looking for another home. Crypto is not an option because it's just such a crazy um, a Ponzi scheme, really. So I'm going to put you on the spot. Let's play a quick little game together. I'm going to mention a critical mineral. And then can you throw a company out that you like? Okay. And explain why. So let's start with neodymium. Well, um, rare earth, I would say neo performance materials. Um, it produces it. Um, it. It takes it from various parties and turns it into a product that it can now churn out to the, uh, the end users, many of which, of course, are the EV industry. I know you follow tin. What tin company uh, do you like today? Oh, Alpha Min. Alpha Min, you know, knocks the ball out of the park. Um, with a 4% grade, enormous uh, positioning there in the DRC. Um, fantastic. You know, it's also got 4% of the global production. Um, it's the largest producer outside of Malaysia and uh, Indonesia. And it has low uh, production costs than they do. I mean, it's just a fantastic company. It's no wonder it had a billion dollar market cap earlier this year which has been sliced because of the tin price retreat. Now tin has turned. Tin has turned like a total V formation and is heading up fantastically. All right. How about you pick your next one? Cobalt, hafnium, which one? Scandia. Oh. What, which one of well, the three, for instance, are most well, intriguing scandium, to you the, today? The, the, the most real party in the scandium space is Rio Tinto. Um, but if we came back to... Um, what was the first one you mentioned? Cobalt. Cobalt, yes. Gerboys Global, uh, the Australian listed stock that um, acquired the, uh, the ICO Cobalt um, a project in Idaho and has now bolted on various refineries in Finland and, um, and in Brazil, has made itself uh, like the master of cobalt outside China. And what we need really is a non-Chinese source of cobalt and uh, they've hoovered up all the, uh, the intermediate production, uh, processing, I should say. Um, and with the Idaho Cobalt coming along, um, you know, they'll be a producer as well. So it's, uh, it's really the best company in the cobalt space. Well, before we let you go, uh, what about antimony? Uh, well, uh, my first love is antimony, as, um, as you well know. And, uh, you know, there are no producers of this metal besides Mandalay outside China, Mandalay Resources on the uh, TSX, but Mandalay is um, primarily a gold company now, Antimony is just a, a, a sideline. Um, but Antimony price has been, uh, after lithium, 
the best um, and most enduring uh, price rise in recent times because so many things have retreated during 2022. So, um, yeah, antimony is, uh, is uh, justifying my faith in it. Well, one more question. Which, what critical mineral has surprised you the most recently uh, for movement or change oh, in tins, price? Definitely. Tin's price fall from 55,000 down to 17 in this year was quite obviously a Chinese effort to, to mess with the minds of not only the producers, the other users around the world. Um, but it was done in such a ham fisted way. It was so obvious that they were burning up uh, reserves of tin to get the price down that when they finally ran out of reserves to dump on the market, uh, the thing has rebounded and rebounded dramatically. There have been rises of 7% sometimes these days. And this is not a small market. This is 340,000 tonnes per annum, and a 7% move in a day is phenomenal. Um, and it just goes to show that the Chinese just sort of, like, once again, shot themselves in both feet and in the head at the same time, and now the price is rebounding and they've sold off their reserves. Is that dumb or what? tell you what we'd love to see you again christopher sooner than later to talk about this crazed nickel market can you leave us with any notes on what's going on everyone's sending me notes with i've got nickel i've got nickel uh yeah well look i'm not, I'm not an enormous fan of nickel i've got to say it's it's good it's a great base metal but it's definitely it, it's not a metal that the dial is going to be moved massively by evs because um, it has so many other uses that even the EVs are going to be just a small proportion of, say, 2030 demand for nickel. Um, that is really a, uh, a metal that's driven by the stainless steel market, which is enormous. And, um, you know, there's no shortage in it. Sorry to say it. Uh, nickel is well known where it is out there. I mean, I process in ladder, I nickel has problems, but no, it's, I, I don't see it as, a, a, you know, a, supply disaster waiting to happen. Thank you so much again, Christopher, for your time. And for those of you interested in finding out more about what Christopher has to say or accessing his research rep reports, please go to Halgart and Company's website. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you very much.